What is up guys and welcome to another Red Dead Online video. Today I have got another money method that you guys can use that will be making you a lot of money. Today we are mixing the trader role and also the collector role. Before I get into this video and show you exactly how to make the most amount of money, I've left some links in the description down below as well as there are some cards popping up on your screen right now which are videos of the mistakes players make whilst going through the collector and also the trader role. By knowing those mistakes it is easy to avoid those mistakes which means you're going to be even more efficient when going through these roles. To begin with, you want to make sure that your camp is up and running. That means that everything is fully supplied by getting animal parts, you have production up and running, and the camp is actually making goods for you that you can then later on sell. Having this up and running then means that you can go off and do anything you want to go and make money. That way you do not have to worry about what the camp is doing because it's constantly going to be making money in the background. At some point, you will have to go back to your camp to resupply it, but that is not too much of a problem, and I do recommend that you actually resupply it yourself and not go and buy supplies. By resupplying it yourself, you're able to get more XP, you get more animal parts, it lasts longer, and also it starts straight away as soon as you have completed the mission. As soon as the camp is up and running and it is making money, this is your time to go off. Now what you want to do is go off and go and find Madame Nazar and buy one of the collector maps. It's up to you on which set you want to complete. In this video, I want to complete the coin set just because it gives the most amount of money and I do recommend doing the coin set as well, but it's entirely up to you of what set you want to complete. It is very easy for you to go into this by every single collector map and then go through and do each one individually. The problem with that is you're not focusing on a set and you're not going to be making as much money. If you focus on one specific set, go to Madame Nazar, buy that map, go off, go and get those collectibles, and then go back to Madame Nazar as soon as you finish, buy the exact same map again, go out, get those collectibles, go back to Madame Nazar, keep on doing that until you complete a set. It's going to be better for your time and you're going to be making even more money. So with the coin set, all I need to do is get 15 different coins and for that, that's $540. I'm going to go to Madame Nazar, buy a coin map, go off, find those collectibles, come back to Madame Nazar, buy another coin map, go out again and keep on doing it until I've completed the set. The good thing about this and only focusing on one set is that the lobby, the game itself, actually knows what you've collected and what you need to collect. Now this only happens in a lobby, so if you leave that lobby and go into a new lobby, it then resets, even if you have a couple of the coins already or a couple of the collectibles dependent on what set you're doing. So knowing that I can set up my camp, have money coming from that, I can then head all the way over to Madame Nazar, buy one of these coin collector maps, go and find those coins, come back to Madame Nazar, buy another map, go out and find those coins again. I'm constantly going to be getting different coins every time I do it, meaning I'm going to be able to complete this set within a matter of maps. In the middle of trying to find all of these different collectibles, I will have to go back to my camp at some point and resupply my camp, but that is is perfectly fine. If you're going to do the coin collector map, it's going to take you about an hour to find every single coin and complete that set. In that time, you're probably going to have to resupply your camp maybe two or three times, but that is perfectly fine. It's okay for you having to take a quick detour, go all the way back to your camp, quickly resupply, and then carry on with collecting as many different coins as possible. At the end of this, in about an hour, you should be making about $540 from the collections itself, and you should also be able to go and sell around about $200 dollars in just stuff that you've managed to sell at your camp. That is a very good return for the time that you're putting into this. I've said from the get-go with this Frontier Pursuits update that mixing a trader and also mixing the collector role is the best thing you can do within this game. Now I do know that this comes with its problems. Not everyone can spawn their camp in. There has been a lot of problems since this game has been released with camps not spawning in properly and it hasn't been a massive problem before the Frontier Pursuits update because not everyone needed their camp to spawn in. But since the big update, it has become obvious that there is a massive problem with spawning camps in because everyone now needs to spawn their camp in if they want to go down this trader role and not everyone can do it. Now, I have not actually found a fix that works me every single time, but now when my camp does not spawn in, I just go off and do something else. Normally what I do is do a legendary bounty and then takes me to a private lobby, a solo lobby. I then complete that and then come back into the free roam world. I try spawning my camp in straight away and most of the time it does spawn in. But it does mean that you have to take 15 minutes out of doing what you want to do just to do a legendary bounty. But anyway guys, that is the money method that I've been using and as you can probably see, if you look at some of the previous money methods I've done, I've been sitting at around about 5, 4k just because I try and buy everything every single week. And now we're back up to 11k, so we've had a very good week by doing this money method. But anyway guys, I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. But for now, I'm going. So see ya.